So what's up guys, hope you are doing well. I'm Match from TechMatch and today I'm going to show you that how you can remove your Samsung account from your Galaxy devices without knowing your account's password. So maybe you have forgot your Samsung account's password and you cannot like erase your device, reset your device or you cannot even remove your Samsung account. Then this video is for you. So first go to the settings of your device and here you can see this is my Samsung account. So if we just scroll down here you can see sign out option. So let's click on sign out here. And now here you can see it is saying they will send me an email to this particular email address. But the thing is I don't have my access to this particular email address. I forgot my password of that email address. So I cannot sign out from my Samsung account. So if we just go to our about phone and then click on reset. And if we try to click on factory reset here and tap on reset and then we need to put our pin here and here you can see it is saying if we just tap on delete it is required you to have the samsung account of your device as we have already lost the password of our samsung account and of my this gmail so i will try to remove the samsung account and in this method i will show you how you can remove your samsung account without any data loss so first go to the settings of your device and then scroll down all the way and then here you need to tap on about phone and scroll down and tap on software information and then here tap on build number for seven times so just keep tapping on it so here it is saying developer mode has been turned on so let's just here go back let's go back again and here at the bottom you can see developer option so now it is enabled so just open your developer option and then scroll down a bit and you need to enable OEM unlocking and you need to put your device pin and then tap on enable. So we have enabled our OEM unlocking here. And then here you need to also enable USB debugging and then tap on OK. All right, now tap on account and backup. And now here you need to tap on manage account. So we will add another Google account, which is we know the password of another's Google account. So just tap on add account and then tap on Google. And now just make sure to add a Google account which is not related to your Samsung account. You can use any other account or any other Google account you wish. All right. So we have selected a different Google account other than our Samsung account and then tap on continue. And after adding your Google account, then make sure that you have enabled the auto sync and backup option on and give it a couple of hours to backup all of your data. And after backing up all of your data, then just here go to your pc or another smartphone and then search for find my device and then go to the first link you have found i will also put the link in the description below and now here you need to sign in to the google account that we have just recently added to our samsung account and here you can see now our device is detected my device is galaxy a54 5g so here you can see factory reset device so just tap on here tap on next and while doing this process, make sure that your device is connected to the internet. If your device is not connected to the internet, then this will not work. After connecting everything and sign in again to your Find My Device, then if you just tap on Reset, then all of your data will be resetted. But make sure that you back up your data earlier. You can back up your data in your Google account or you can also back up manually. And then just click on Reset and now click on Erase. So here it is saying erase all data. So as we have backed up all of our data earlier, so now we are good to go. So now here you can see your device should automatically reboot it. So just give it a couple of seconds and all of your data, existing data and software will be removed. But as I have mentioned you earlier, you should back up your data to your Google account before proceeding with this step. So be patient and make sure that your device charge is minimum above 50% while doing this process to avoid any unexpected shutdown. All right, now you need to set up your device again, like a brand new device. So let's set up everything here. So you need to first select your language and then tap on OK. And then here tap on start. And now here just agree. And here it is saying easy setup with another device. So here just tap on setup manually. So you need to first connect to a Wi-Fi network or you can also turn off the Wi-Fi. 
So I would suggest you to connect your Wi-Fi and then add your Google account where you have backed up all of your data earlier before the reset process. So let's connect to our Wi-Fi here and then tap on next. So here it is saying getting your phone ready. So just be patient. So here just it is saying copy app and data. So just tap on next and then here tap on next. Here just tap on can't use another device. Now you need to sign in to your Google account the recent google account that you have added and backed up all of your data and then here it is saying that a backup is available so just tap on this backup and tap on next now you need to put your device pin the old pin and then just tap on here tap on restore after selecting everything then just tap on restore and all of your data that you have backed up earlier should be restored properly so just tap on accept so let's skip it for now so i will fast forward this process so now it is saying restoring here now you can add a different samsung account you can sign up to a new samsung account if you wish so just tap on sign in with google account and here we have added our new gmail as our samsung account so let's tap on finish so here you can see all of our app and data is now downloading from our Google account. So that's it guys. That's how you can remove your Samsung account without knowing your Samsung account's password and also without losing any data. So if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any question or any suggestion, then let me know that in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one. So I'm Mesh from TechMesh and I'm signing out.